In this video, we study some numericals based on the domain of a function. We already know what is domain, what is range. In this video, we will see some questions as to how to find out the domain of any function given to us. Here are some sample problems. Let's get started. This is the first problem wherein a function is given as fx is equal to 5x minus 1 upon x minus 3. As you can see, this function has both numerator and denominator, so it is an example of a rational function. Now, any fraction or any rational function is only definable or only exists when the denominator is not equal to 0. In any case, the denominator should be non-zero. If the denominator becomes zero, my function does not exist. Let's get back to the question now. What values of x can you put in this function so as it exists? Actually, domain is what? Domain is the values of x which you put so that the function exists. And range was what? Range was that what values can y obtain? In these numericals, we are restricted to domain. So let's focus on what values should we be putting for x so as to obtain some functions which do exist. Let's see this question. 5x minus 1, the numerator has no problems. Let's see the denominator. x minus 3, that means the value of x can be anything but not 3. Why not 3? Because if we put here 3, 3 minus 3 will be 0 and anything upon 0 in the denominator 0 is not defined in mathematics. So what is the answer of the domain? Domain is all real, r means real, but what can we not put? We cannot put 3. So domain is all real minus elemental 3. That means only 3 cannot be put. So we write that 3 in curly braces and r means all real. So I write with bracket all real so that you don't get confused whether this r is range or relation or what. It is the answer of domain. This was the first question. In this we learned that domain is what? What values of x should we be putting so as to obtain a function which exists. Let's get back to the second question. This question has again a fraction that means a numerator and a denominator. The numerator has x square, the denominator has 1 plus x square. Focus on x square. Square of anything is positive. That means the numerator is always positive. Denominator has x square always positive. Positive plus 1 is also positive. That means there is no tension that we will get 0 in the denominator. Earlier we had a subtraction sign but now it is an addition sign. We will always get positive terms. That means we can put anything without having fear of function not existing. That means the domain to this question would be R which is all real. This is the domain. You can put anything for x and you would not have any tension that the function does not exist. Let's get back to the third question. Sin x plus cos x plus tan x. These are the three trigonometric functions you must have studied in your earlier junior classes. What is the function of sin x about? What is cos x? What is tangent x? You just have these in addition form and the function asks us to find the domain of it. What about sin x? Sin x can obtain values between minus 1 and 1. That we know because it is the range. But what values of x can be put here? Can we put x as 0 degree? Yes, because sin 0 is 0. Can we put as x as 90 degree? Yes, we can. We can put any values of x in radian or degree. Even the positive or the negative values, sin of minus pi by 2 is also defined. That means any value of x can be put in this expression of sin x. So the domain of sin x, if I write individually the domains of sin and cos x, 
so the domain of sin x is equal to all real i can put anything in x what about the domain of the next term what is the next term the next term is cos x now just like sin x cos x also is defined for all the values there is no infinite or not defined term so i can put any thing any real value for this x of cos x that means the domain of cos x is also all real and what about tan x let's find out the domain of tan x if you have studied about tan x in your junior classes that means class 10th and class 11th you might now have the knowledge that tan x is not defined at some points what is the value of tan pi by 2 tan pi by 2 means tan 90 degree its value is not defined similarly not only tan pi by 2 but tan 3 pi by 2 that means tan 270 degrees is also not defined because what is tan 270 it is tan 180 plus 90 and tan 180 plus theta that we have already computed so that means whenever i would be having tan pi by 2 or tan 3 by pi 2 or tan 5 pi by 2 that means odd multiples of pi by 2 which i would be writing as 2n plus 1 into pi by 2 for all these values which are the odd multiples of pi by 2 the tan of these values is not defined otherwise tan is defined so i can put all the values of x for tan but except these values where tan is not defined so the domain of tan x would be what all real but one thing that we cannot put what we cannot put the odd multiples of tan that means the odd multiples of tan pi by 2 cannot be put so we subtract it from the mainstream now the question was not about finding individually sin x domain of cos x domain of tan x but addition was given so we have to further see what is the actual answer out of these in such questions where you have two three trigonometrical functions or two three different types of functions and they are separated by addition symbol addition arithmetic operation what do we have to do we have to compute the final answer by taking the intersection of these all answers that means you will write r of the first answer intersection with r of the second answer intersection with the third answer now having written all those answers in this statement let us find out what is the actual answer real and real intersections would always give me real but which is the smaller and the common set out of all these which is actually present in all of them remember what was intersection for those who did not remember let me make it clear once again suppose i had two sets a and b and they are represented in the venn diagram there are different regions of a different regions of b what was the intersection intersection was the common part the common region the shaded region here now coming back to this question where we have three sets three different things the intersection would be what the intersection would be the common region or the common part which is nothing but the smaller out of these and which is r minus 2n plus 1 into pi by 2 hence the solution to the domain of this function is real minus odd multiples of pi by 2 so this was the video on how to find out domain of a function in the next video we will be seeing how to find out the range of the function thank